Hi there guys, this is Jekyll. Today I would like to give you a quick tutorial on how to install the Kneeboard Builder and use it actually in DCS. First of all, let's just download the Kneeboard Builder. You can just Google it, DCS Kneeboard Builder, or go to dcsneeboardbuilder.com. Go to Downloads and just download the current version. Since I already did this, um, you go to your downloads folder, let me see where it is, and open the downloaded zip file. Um, then you export this whole um, content from the zip file into a new folder. For example, let me just create one. Builder, oops, builder, extract the whole zip file in there, and from there you can directly open it via the Kneeboard Builder Axe file. Since I already have installed it, um, I can just open it from here. And let's just try to import some PDFs or some, some other files. So for importing, you need a PDF or, or an HTML. Usually I take a PDF. Um, today I would like to take uh, uh, the guide from the current um, community mod for the Blackhawk. So let's add file. These are some mission files for my uh, vegan for, for some vegan missions. Let's not use this one. Let's go to my Google Drive. Some DCS related stuff. Where is it? Just have it right somewhere. Ah, downloads. There you go. Downloads. There you go. PDF file. Then, once you've selected your PDF, you select your um, aircraft you want to import it to. In this case, the, the Blackhawk UH-60L. You say which group uh, you want to have it in. For example, I want to have it in my guide group because it's a guide. If that thing already exists, I can um, uh, just merge it or replace it with this one, which I'm just creating. Um, since this is a new group, create just a new group or just leave it as it is. Begin import. Uh, wait a couple of seconds, or depending on your computer, maybe a little bit longer, to actually import the PDF. What Nibot Builder is doing is um, they are basically creating um, PNGs, if I remember correct, um, out of this PDF, out of every page of the PDF, which you can then import into your um, in-game keyboard. So conversion was successful. Now we're going into create custom keyboard. Um, we want to create the custom keyboard for the Blackhawk, so we are selecting the correct aircraft again. It shouldn't be in there. Probably was moved there before. Um, there's our available group, the guide. What I can do now is I can say I want to modify it, for example. And if I, for example, don't need the first page, I can simply remove it. Um, for, uh, for example, for flying, I probably don't need the first two pages, the glossary, or maybe the content is probably not 
that bad to import. Let's remove these and keep the rest in there. Save it and then you have to move it to the group selected for a custom keyboard. What you should not forget and that sometimes people forget um, you need to build custom keyboard for the UH or for, for whatever aircraft you've selected. So once this one is in, create custom keyboard, custom keyboard is created, done. And now you can actually um, leave the keyboard builder and go directly into um, into DCS. So let me just quickly start DCS and I'm right be I'll be right back. Okay, now we are back in DCS and are already placed in our uh, Blackhawk. Let's have a quick look. This is the cockpit of our Blackhawk. And we want to open our knee board. To do that, um, you can go into um, the controls and press right shift K for opening the keyboard or and um, the other controls that I usually use is the uh, do the brackets for a previous page in the knee board and for next page in the, pr uh, in the knee board. The other shortcut I'm using is um, also uh, mark your position on the knee board on the map um, with control right control K. Uh, that's pretty handy if you want to mark your position. Um, maybe you don't have the F10 map or something and you can uh, quickly see where you actually are. So once this is set up, um, let's open the knee board. And in this case, uh, there's already something in from the Blackhawk, but this was not integrated by us. Let's see where our um, keyboard is. And there you already go. There's our integrated keyboard. Everything is in there. As you can see, I can resize it as I see fit. This is this you can done do with all the new boards in uh, DCS. You don't need the new board builder for that. Pretty pretty good if the size or the aspect ratios for the PDFs you just imported are not the correct ones. You just resize it and you just jump through the pages. That is actually all. Nothing more, nothing less. And you can import every PDF you want. Um, you can quickly also um, take them out, delete the pages as I showed you, uh, modify the different PDFs. Um, what I usually do is have some startup pages in there like helping me how to start up this specific aircrafts or um, how to do for example bombing runs in the F5 um, since I don't remember all the bombing tables, that is a pretty neat feature. And doing this by just importing PDF files is pretty easy, actually. So that's it for the quick um, quick tutorial for the Neboard Builder. Hope you find it useful, and we see us later.